There's always those powerhouse NFL teams that everybody expects to get into the playoffs long before the season even starts. The New England Patriots, for example, haven't missed the playoffs since 2008. Or the Saints, who are filled to the brim with stars and playmakers like Michael Thomas, Drew Brees, and Cameron Jordan. But then there's always those teams that sneak up on the league and have stunning seasons that nobody ever expected, like the Jaguars in 2017 or the Bears just last year. This offseason, however, it's hard to decide who really is being underrated. I've heard the New York Jets mentioned, as well as the Detroit Lions. However, I truly think that in the 2019 season, the Buffalo Bills will not only make the playoffs, but be real Super Bowl contenders. When it comes down to why I think the Bills will improve so much, I have a few good reasons. Number one, the defense. Last year, everybody liked to talk about the Bears' dominant defense or the Ravens' talented core. The Bills, however, quietly had one of the best defensive units in the league. They came in second place for total yards allowed, first in passing yards allowed, and 16th in rushing yards allowed. So while they weren't the best run-stopping defense, they were still a dominant force to be reckoned with. The only big loss for this defense came when Kyle Williams, a big run-plugging defensive tackle, retired. They addressed this, however, by drafting Ed Oliver. Oliver fills the hole left by Williams and may even add more of a pass rush, as some analysts have noticed the similarities between him and Aaron Donald. They also added Kevin Johnson, a cornerback who projects to start for the Bills and potentially make the secondary even better. Another thing to take into account is the progression of some of the young players on this team. For example, Tremaine Edmonds led the team with 121 tackles in 2018, and the promising linebacker is looking to improve with another year in the same system. All of the evidence with this defense leads me to believe that they will be equally good next year, if not better. That's very bad news for opposing offenses. Number 2. Improvements on Offense in 2018, the Bills' offensive line was a massive reason that the offense was poor. Ranked 26th in the league by PFF, this line was atrocious. This year, however, the Bills brought in almost an entirely new group to fight in the trenches. They signed a starting center in Mitch Morse, a starting guard in Quinton Spain, and drafted a starting tackle in Cody Ford. This offensive line went from one of the worst in the NFL to a group that could potentially rank in the top half of the league. Another issue on offense was the receivers. The Bills had no true number one receiver, and the entire group struggled with dropped passes. To aid this, the Bills signed slot receiver Corey Beasley and deep threat John Brown. These two are immediate improvements over the 2018 receiving group and should be great weapons for Josh Allen. The running back room got a makeover as well. The Bills released Chris Ivory, but signed future Hall of Famer Frank Gore, power back TJ Yeldon, and drafted Devin Singletary, a promising prospect out of FAU. This all happened without mentioning LaShawn McCoy, who will be returning this year. While it is unknown how the Bills will divvy up touches, it is a better problem to have too many weapons rather than too few. Overall, the Bills' offense is much improved and should be dangerous, at least more so than they were in 2018. Number 3. An easy schedule. The Buffalo Bills were gifted with one of the more forgiving schedules in the NFL, ranked 9th easiest by CBS. They play a total of 5 games against teams who made the playoffs in 2018, and they are in one of the worst divisions in football, since the AFC East contains both the Dolphins and Jets. While they do have to face the Patriots twice a year, this scheduled difficulty is good news for Bills fans, as they can expect a lot of games against bad teams. Number 4. Returning Coaching Staff It's tough for any players to keep switching playbooks and schemes throughout their career. So, the returning coaching staff is a big relief for the Bills players. With Sean McDermott at the helm, the defense should be improving, since the players will be familiar with the scheme and know what to expect from each other. The return of offensive coordinator Brian DeBolt may not mean as much since the offense looks so different. However, it will help the development of the returning players. 
which leads me to my last point. Number five, Josh Allen. I believe Josh Allen can be the next great quarterback. I am not saying that just to grab attention. I truly believe that Josh Allen can not only lead his team to the playoffs, but elevate the offensive performance. When I watch Allen, I can't help but think of a young Cam Newton. While he isn't the most accurate quarterback, he is a big, physical athlete and has a cannon for an arm. With another year in the same offense and a better receiving core around him, Josh Allen could be a top 15 quarterback next year. And I'm not saying he's perfect now, but with more experience, Allen will become a quality starter and a big reason why the Bills start to win. Overall, this year, I believe the Bills will surprise a lot of people. I think barring injuries, they have the talent to be a 10 and 6 team and can win a wild card slot in the playoffs. The improvements on offense and just generally dominant defense should elevate this team to double digit wins. And if Josh Allen can in fact improve, the rest of the AFC better watch out. The Bills are back.